Hello, my name is Garrett Perkins, and this is my presentation on cricket and tea, the influence of the British Empire on Pakistani culture. Britain's presence in Southeast Asia left a lingering mark that has influenced government, architecture, philosophy, language, and culture. This influence, whether for better or for worse, has undoubtedly been consequential. A simple cursory examination of contemporary culture in Pakistan is sure to unveil an English bat and ball sport called cricket and an unquenchable thirst for an ancient leaf infused beverage called tea. Any discussion of Britain's influence on Pakistani culture would be incomplete without mentioning the East India Trading Company. The East India Trading Company was the catalyst responsible for introducing these two major cultural characteristics central to the identity of Pakistani culture today. Cricket. So, cricket, it has famously been said, is an Indian game that was accidentally invented by the English. The earliest cricket match was recorded in Sussex in 1697 but its origins can be traced all the way back to the 13th century. The first match in India was played in 1721 between British merchants and soldiers. The first Indian community which started playing cricket was the Parsis in 1848. Gradually, other communities also started playing cricket. The Hindus started playing in 1907, and in 1912, the Muslims entered the arena. The first international cricket match in what is Pakistan today happened before partition, actually, in 1935 between Sindh and Australian cricket teams in Karachi. Pakistan gained test status in 1952, just five years after partition. So test status is the highest level of cricket play between international representative teams. And Pakistan won the World Cup of Cricket in 1992. And to this day, cricket is the most popular sport in Pakistan and India. The Pakistan versus India cricket rivalry has been deemed the most passionate rivalry in all of sports. And the 2019 matchup between these two countries was the most watched cricket event ever. The two countries have played 199 times Pakistan has won 86 times, while India has won 70 times, and those other 43 matches have been draws. So cricket matches between these two countries is seen as an opportunity for diplomacy on the world stage. Tea. So what would India be without tea? Maybe the better question is, what would tea be without India? Tea is Britain's most consumed beverage, and because of this, it's often thought about as being quintessential to Britain. The nascency of tea is actually pretty nuanced. In the 18th century, tea was grown exclusively in China, and Britain was purchasing large quantities. Unfortunately for Britain, China wasn't giving them any discounts, and Britain's insatiable consumption was sliding them towards bankruptcy. Relations with China were tense and Britain needed to future-proof their tea consumption habit. So in the 1830s, the British established tea estates in India using Chinese seeds and Chinese cultivating techniques. Tea was originally only consumed by anglicized Indians. It wasn't until the mid 20th century that tea became widely popular in India and Pakistan. Tea in Pakistan is called chai and is one of the most consumed beverages in the country. Pakistan is the third largest importer of tea and the seventh largest consumer globally. Britain's cultural influence in Pakistan is alive and well today, and cricket and tea won't be going away anytime soon.